your account is not secure. Every single RuneScape account is worth something to the RuneScape black market, who trade accounts between them for use in botting, real world trading, and directly out of spite. A lot of hijackings are targeted attacks, but most are random. Unlucky players found in some password database or just happen to be on some random list. If you got hacked, the odds would have it is because you used your passwords in the wrong place. A place you thought was safe. Thousands of high value accounts have been hijacked through the RuneScape account recovery system. Some more high profile than others due to their high wealth, rare usernames or celebrity status. Hijackers seem to bypass bank pins, authenticator and the registered email addresses. So why are these security measures in place to seemingly no avail? And why does it seem like some people can hijack anyone they want? Not long ago, a player called Nelsi was hijacked on old school to RuneScape. Being overall rank of 451 with a total wealth of 5 billion coins, Nelsi was definitely a valuable target for account hijackers. Like countless of previous situations, it seemed like the email a bank pin was removed with ease. After a few hours, Mod Steve W would reply saying the account was hijacked using several pieces of personal information about Nelsi, including creation date, location, postal code and previous passwords. A very strong recovery appeal, but suspicious when the appeal was not made by Nelsi. So how does a hijacker obtain your personal account information? I got in touch with an ex-member of the RuneScape black market, a so-called recoverer, who have a history of recovering accounts. Right off the bat, he would tell me the number one source for account hijacking, fansite databases. More specifically, Zybis. Zybis was one of the game's oldest dedicated fansites, originating all the way back in 2001. In 2012, the site experienced a major database breach, leaking the information of what was potentially 1.2 million users. However, the breach was apparently not a one-time case. The recoverer I talked to would tell me how new accounts would sign up to the site and appear on the black market just weeks later, with IP addresses, email and password openly available. Two sources could tell me about separate database leaks both in 2015 and 2016. When asking Zybest about these claims, they told me they don't believe this is true and even if it was, it would be on the hands of Curse who owns the Zybest database. From the knowledge of Zybis admins, the leaks in later years never took place. Zybis is not the only site, however. Database breaches occur all the time and RuneScape related fan sites are compromised fairly regularly. If you're signed up to one, your registration details are not safe and is at risk of being leaked to the wrong people, who will manually go through the list of users one by one, eventually hitting jackpot. Which could be you. This is rarely the fault of the website administrators, very often it's due to poor security from the third party website host or administrative accounts being hacked for the very same reasons presented in this video. Recoveries are made as such, players on the website openly share their RuneScape usernames, sometimes other information like first name, country and so on. If a website gets leaked, hijackers get access to email which for some is registered email to RuneScape account, and passwords which in some situations is a direct same password or previously used passwords to your in-game account, enough to make a recovery seem legitimate and thus hijack the account. But of course, not everyone is on the fan side. This does unfortunately not mean you're safe. Let me introduce you to doxing. The word doxing is used when describing the act of collecting information about a user online. It is done for players who's not very careful and it can be done very simply. Social media is often full of public information about users. Through Twitter, Facebook and by simply talking to you in game, you can be nailed down to a location in the real world. Your name might be found, emails, maybe the name of your dog, past usernames. And this is just a handful of extremely many more pieces of information Hijack is used to take your account. Several key details I've not included in this video, as they're way too easy to find on most accounts and therefore could cause harm if used inappropriately. Too many players don't consider their own safety online a priority. And yet many people get surprised when the hijackers suddenly knew the answers to your recovery questions. The small details matter. Some players believe this stuff can't happen to them. Yet, I was told of players being hacked for simply annoying somebody in-game. In this moment are several clan leaders in both RuneScape 3 and Old School being watched for moments where they go inactive just for a few days so hijackers can take them when they're not looking. And this is not only about high wealth or rare usernames. This could simply be because one clan crashed another. 
Even a small thing like telling somebody when you started playing RuneScape puts your account at risk. Does this mean you should stop making friends? Not talk about yourself at all? No. There are security measures in place, if you follow them correctly. RuneScape currently offers three measures of account security. A registered email, authenticator and the bank pin. But are these as secure as one would think? Not following the RuneScape community. You don't have to look very far to find posts about the measures having flaws, being bypassed and is seemingly useless, especially with the recent addition of game time being openly available while recovering an account, it created a lot of doubt regarding the security of accounts. I needed to find out why it seems so vulnerable, so I asked the head of the Jagex ICU team, Mod Benno, about his claims, and he answered as such. We are aware that our recovery system is not perfect, and that mistakes happen, but we have not been informed of a series of flaws of our systems as far as I am aware. We take account security incredibly seriously, and continually work to improve all systems relating to it. Game time has no impact on recovery, that's why it's freely available. Country, first name, and age are also essentially irrelevant. Country is sometimes used to confirm that they're not trying to recover the wrong account. Typically, the information used by hijackers in recoveries includes matching passwords, payment information, contact information, and recovery answers, usually combined with them coming in from the correct location and ISP. High-level players do sometimes contact us to request that their accounts be made unrecoverable, but this is not possible, so we give them advice on how to make their accounts secure. The simple fact is that a fair amount of accurate information is needed to recover an account, and simply coming to us with a name and location is never going to do it. The system will also deny the appeal, and we won't even see it. So, following Jagex, the measures in place should be enough to hold your account secure. But if that's the case, how do so many people lose their accounts so often? An account recovery process works like this. The hijacker chooses to recover the account and select the option where they don't have access to the current registered email. They then proceed to fill in all information they know about the account. Emails, hometown, real names, internet providers, gained through IP addresses, billing information, previous passwords, and recovery questions if there are any. In addition to some extra steps, it doesn't take much to recover the account successfully, all with information you have posted online or have lost through database breaches. Because the hijacker claimed he didn't have access to your current email, his own email will get added as a new registered email. With this, he can disable the authenticator through the website by sending a new confirmation email to the new registered email. Voila! Two security measures gone. The final step is the bank pin. Just three years back, the bank pin was basically void, and you could claim wealth through obscure methods without ever pressing the bank pin. That is no longer possible. The bank pin takes three days to be removed, and there's currently no way to go around that. Not a single one of the top level hijackers I spoke to could find any way to trick the bank pin. If somebody claims a hijacker bypassed the bank pin, they're either lying or they spent three days or more away from the computer. Or, maybe the pin was a guessable number, like date of birth, or the current year, or just 111. Choose your pin numbers intelligently, so some of your wealth might be saved, but the hijacker still got onto your account, right? So, what can you do? In a game where seemingly the smallest piece of information could put your account at risk, what action can you take to protect your account from being hacked? It's actually very simple. Use a unique Gmail and password for your RuneScape account. That's it. A unique password you don't use anywhere else, which means it can't be found in any database leaks anywhere. A unique Gmail, because that means your connected email can't be hijacked as it doesn't exist elsewhere. Gmail, because Google offers the best email security online. Added with two-step verification like the Google Authenticator, not SMS Authenticator as these can be breached, your account is secure. A series of popular mail providers like Hotmail and Outlook are all weak in security and can be recovered with simple recovery details which can be found through doxing. With the addition of two-step verification through Google Authenticator, a tool you already should have on your RuneScape account, there will be no way to bypass your already hidden email. That said, this email should be a discreet one. Don't use your name at gmail.com or your username at gmail.com. Make it unique, hidden, and don't share it to anyone or use it on any other website or any applications like for instance Skype. It's a small thing that can make a huge difference to your account. High status players should however be a bit more careful just in case. So here are some additional tips from some of RuneScape's most notorious account hijackers. Create a unique password for all your important sites. Your email, RuneScape account and bank account should all be different passwords. Also remember that some websites like Netflix display your card information. 
If your email and passwords are the same here as with your RuneScape ones, a hijacker might gain access to your billing information, which supports the recovery appeal. Be careful with what information you share about your account. Things like creation date, what street you live on, your membership information, what internet service provider you use are all examples of information hijackers actively use. Double change your username. If your account is from 2010 and before, you might be logging in with a username. If your login name is the same as your in-game display name, that can be an issue. Finally, be sure to check if any of your passwords and emails have been knowingly breached. Check the website in the description below to ensure your account info is safe. After all, your account can't be hacked if its information doesn't exist. There are flaws in the system. During research for this video, I was made aware of some serious flaws in the security system which would put any account at risk. These have been forwarded to Jagex to ensure future account security. There is also the issue of the authenticator. Though this would save your account should a hijacker be aware of your current password, it is useless in a successful account recovery process. Suggestions have been made to add an authenticator delay, much like the 3 day delay to bank pins, but years later this still have not been done. All of this might seem like a lot of information, but after research for this video, account security really just boils down to email and password. Be smart with it, use unique details for the accounts you care about. Only then will your account be secure. Unless Mod Jed makes a return, but you know, what are the odds of that? Thanks for watching, bye!